Where the bankruptcy court, state court, federal district court, you have the right to challenge the debt. Don't let them tell you no. Don't let them fall what they're in a hurry to take what you owe. Every debtor has the right to challenge the debt. It's not just the FDCPA. But every court, including bankruptcy court, recognizes your right. Your absolute right to an evident share in here. So make your demands, take your stand. If you deny them of the right to challenge the debt. Consider it that court by motion And if you will get denial Appeal that denial You asked him to prove the debt So this is taken directly from the court Notice what they say about your right To challenge a debt Section 502 Provides that once a claim objection is lost The court after notice in a hearing Shall determine the amount of the claim As of the petition date And shall allow such claim in such amount Unless the claim falls under one of nine Statutory grounds for disallowance Listen in fault to be in read approved Gentlemen and ladies, I got some information I need to tell you. I had to turn off the voice recognition. Look, I, I, I don't know how many times I can tell y'all I was right. I mean, I, I can do it for eternity because I'm always, you know, in that position to be able to say that. But I was right, ladies and gentlemen. I was right. I told y'all, you can challenge a stupid debt. You don't have to accept that little piece of junk paper that's called statement of accounting. That's not proof of claim. Now, notice this. This is what the bankruptcy court, because I've been having people challenge the debt because I've been helping them. And the court's been ignoring their challenge to the debt. That's called an evidentiary hearing. Pay attention. Allowance of claim is generally governed by the 11 units form statutory code 502 of chapter 11 bankruptcy code pay attention section 502 i know it says the united states code shut up 502 apple provides that proof of claim filed under 501 is deemed allowed yeah automatically they it's just allowed if you don't challenge it it's allowed so go to sit down and shut up that's what they said. You got to challenge it. Whew. I'm so glad. Now, hold on now. Deemed allowed unless the party in interest objects. Objection. Objection, Your Honor. Objection. Yeah, I don't like the color of your eyes, and I don't like that mother sitting over there. Mm-hmm. Objection. 
we got to object, y'all. Section 502B provides that once a claim objection is lodged, the court, after notice at a hearing, there has to be an evidentiary hearing, shall determine the amount of the claim as of the petition. So that's why you subpoena this amount. You don't want just some accounting generated from some computer. No, these are this is a serious matter. These are some serious facts. Well, do you have proof that you da 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 da? No, no, it isn't a matter of do I have proof. It's a matter that they're the custodian of record, and they're supposed to have the record. This is not a record. This is just some paper. It's not signed by anyone. There is nobody saying that they are licensed to do the accounting. Is this part of the accounting team that did this, or what's this customer service? This looks like it's computer generated. Who verified the information of the computer generation? There has to be verification because computers get things wrong all the time when you leave them to their laurels. So, ladies and gentlemen, especially in bankruptcy court, whenever you file bankruptcy, anybody brings a claim of debt challenge that stupid claim go over this case see what the courts have said and use their junk against them okay all right case will be in the song description just got to pay attention to the song it's going to be at the beginning of the video i gotta go y'all have a good day all right all right see y'all later <laughs>